Hi, Michael McLarney here. I'm the editor of Hardlines, Canada's weekly e-newsletter for the retail home improvement industry. I want to take a look now at what's ahead for this industry in 2014, some of the key trends uh, backing uh, this industry's direction, and some of the key players and where we think they'll be going uh, in the year ahead. Unfortunately, the backdrop of, of economic indicators are not entirely positive. Uh, at the end of 2013, we noticed that uh, the jobless rate is, is creeping up. The uh, housing starts slipped down in, 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 the end of the, in the end of the year. Building permits in November also down, a great indicator of where housing and, and construction intentions will be in the next uh, six or eight months. Uh, not entirely strong. And unfortunately, a lot of that, that weakness is coming from Canada's two largest provinces, Ontario and Quebec. Ontario, of course, being fully one-third of the retail home improvement market in this country, and Quebec representing over 20 percent, uh, about 23 percent, almost, almost a third, almost a quarter itself. Uh, some good signs. Uh, the weakness of the Canadian dollar may be considered a, a positive or a negative, depending on whether you're a, a tourist or a, or, or a, or a buyer. However, there is no question that uh, that is going to help manufacturers who do exporting, and it will also help to probably keep the uh, uh, the interest rates down for another another year and a half anyway. Some of, uh, some of the forecasts I'm hearing. Uh, on the positive side as well, inside our industry, we're seeing the uh, the growth and the the maintenance of the uh, independent in this industry as a very core to to the strength of, of home improvement retailing. As, it, as the independent continues to gain market share year over year, even though the industry itself is growing at a very, very slow rate. We expect uh, 2013, the numbers aren't all in yet, but we expect that 2013's uh, year over year growth will be less than 2%, and we don't have uh, we, uh, a big, um, uh, expect a big increase for 2014. We're being very modest in our forecasts for the year ahead as well. The, the players themselves in this industry, the, the newsmakers, uh, working at Rona, of course, and watching how Rona treats the two sides of its business, the, uh, the corporate stores as it repositions for growth and for stability as it uh, continues to, to maintain its position as a, as a key uh, player on Bay Street, and also, very, very important, its uh, independent dealer base and how it maintains that dealer base, how it holds on to them, and how it treats those dealers will be a very, very uh, crucial to the success of Rona going forward. Uh, the buying groups, very, very important in this industry. Timber Marts, Canada's largest buying group, under the new leadership of Bernie Owens, who came over from CertainTeed and has actually just brought another fellow over himself from CertainTeed to manage their retail services division. And we're watching some nice fine-tuning of that business, uh, reassuring us and assuring the industry that it is going to continue to be uh, a key player uh, in 2014. Home Hardware claims it had the best year ever in 2013, and we uh, consider them a be bellwether of this industry, having stores uh, of all sizes in, in all markets across the country. Castle continues to grow, and it's nice to see them uh, establish a real solid uh, niche with the, um, especially with contractor-oriented yards and growing base of specialty yards. Torps and Sexton keep adding dealers, uh, especially on the specialty side and the commercial side. Uh, BMR and Co-op represent uh, an important, uh, an important story that broke at the end of uh, evolved at the end of last year, and we'll watch as the takeover of La Co-op Federé in the province of Quebec uh, of Group BMR comes together with great interest in the pages of Hardlines. So certainly, it's going to be another exciting year uh, in this industry, even if conditions will stay uh, challenging in some markets. And we will continue to follow those trends and those challenges in the pages of Hardlines every week. Michael McLarney, signing off. Thank you.